The Saudi Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, reportedly considering accepting Chinese currency instead of U.S. dollars for its oil sales to China. Brazil and Argentina's bid to create a common currency for South America received the push after Venezuela's president announced support for the move. In recent times, the dollar's dominance has been called into question, with the Chinese yuan posited as an alternative. The U.S. dollar has held its status as the global reserve currency since World War II. But a blend of political and economic factors is gradually eroding its dominant position. Approximately 60% of global reserves consist of assets denominated in dollars, as reported by the International Monetary Fund. Furthermore, the dollar stands as the most commonly utilized currency in international trade. Certain items that you purchase in global markets, which can only be purchased with dollars. The macro-geopolitical landscape is motivating nations to explore substitute currencies, yet concerns about the excessive influence of the dollar in global trade and finance have existed for an extended period. Over the past few months, Brazil and Argentina have engaged in discussions regarding the establishment of a shared currency for the two largest economies in South America. Recently, China also concluded a trial trade for natural gas with France using the yuan. Breaking a nearly five-decade tradition, Saudi Arabia recently announced its willingness to conduct trade using currencies other than the U.S. dollar. The increasing use of SWIFT as a tool for sanctions stimulates the rollout of alternative payment information systems by the governments of Russia and China. In the absence of a worldwide central bank, SWIFT effectively functions as the mediator between central banks of different nations and the vast network of over 11,000 banks globally, facilitating the processing of payments. SWIFT itself doesn't hold or physically transfer funds, instead, it serves as a means for banks and financial institutions to notify each other about impending transactions. Excluding significant Russian entities from SWIFT resulted in a disruption of the information flow. Suddenly, Russian financial entities faced a challenge as they lack a straightforward or universally accepted method to transfer funds. We will limit Russia's ability to do business in dollars, euros, pounds, and yen. The impact of Russia's exclusion from SWIFT on its economy is evident in the significant depreciation of the ruble, with a sudden and substantial drop of around 30% occurring immediately following the SWIFT announcement. It's become a symbol. So it says we can exclude you from SWIFT and that's a kind of a substantial threat. But really it's shorthand for saying we're going to exclude you from financial transactions around the world. Worried about the United States' control of the global financial system and its potential to manipulate it for strategic purposes, other countries have been exploring alternatives to diminish the dominance of the dollar. The majority of currencies in sub-Saharan Africa have depreciated against the US dollar, intensifying inflationary concerns throughout the region due to surging import costs. As currencies lose value in comparison to the US dollar, local prices tend to increase because a substantial portion of consumer goods, including essentials like food, is imported. In fact, for most countries in the region, more than two-thirds of imports are denominated in US dollars. A lot of countries, particularly emerging market countries, they finance themselves in dollar. You essentially make the cost of dollar borrowing more expensive. In Argentina, a combination of political pressures and a decrease in exports led to a depletion of US dollar reserves, exerting downward pressure on the Argentine peso and subsequently driving inflation. As a result, Argentina has initiated the practice of settling payments for Chinese imports in yuan, opting for this currency over US dollars. A growing list of countries is actively seeking alternative financial systems to shield themselves from Washington's tendency to employ sanctions as a form of political pressure. Nevertheless, de-dollarization introduces its own set of challenges and possible drawbacks for developing nations. As these countries move away from the US dollar, they might encounter increased exchange rate fluctuations, which have the potential to affect trade, investment, and the flow of capital.